Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. If this is your first time visiting me, I would like to thank you. While you are here, please like, subscribe, and also share my channel. By taking this action, it will help me to grow. Also take a moment to read my about page so that you can have some understanding of who I am. I will never copy another person's work, nor will I copy another person's title. I am authentically me. This work is a part of my bloodline. Thank you for visiting, and I pray that you will return. Please check out my other videos. All are welcome to share his or her story in the comment section below, because your story may be a helpmate to someone else. My channel is a no judgment zone place for healing in some sort of way. If my video does not resonate with you, please do not try to make it fit at all. For anyone else and everyone else that this message does make sense to, take from it what helps you on your journey towards your happiness in every area of your life. I am Empress Real One. 584 The Good Witch. Please check out my other videos only if you know what your placements are. Cross watchers, you are most definitely welcome. Please check out the Aquarius video. Today, I will be doing storytelling. Now, I want anyone that comes to my channel to have an understanding of what each card means. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through the suit of the Ride Away deck so that you can have a better understanding. I don't want you to look at the card and not understand the meaning of the card. I want you to look at the card and know exactly what the card means. Because sometimes it's very important for you to see the card. And if you look at some of my videos, I'll tell you to look at the card, stare at it. And I will ask, what are you feeling at this very moment when you see this card? Where is your mind at? What is your thought pattern? when viewing the card, because that's important. No matter what I say, no matter how I read what cards fall out on this desk, you may interpret it in a different way. However, always know that everyone's story isn't everyone's story. So the reading may be for you and it may not. Tarot is general, not unless I'm doing a one-to-one -one reading with a specific person. So, number meanings. We can look at number meanings as angel numbers, or we can look at number meanings as in the Tarot. So, I'm going to give you a few keywords. We're going to start off with the source. So we have the ace, right? This is the ace of swords. Remember this card. The ace of swords can be looked at as the beginning. The ace of swords the key word you need to know is honesty. And your key phrases for the Ace of Swords are facing the facts, right? Because that does go along with honesty. Knowing the answer. It's also a time to resolve a particular problem that you may be going through or someone around you may be going through. 
So, the interpretation of the Ace of Swords is for you to prioritize your ideas and you'll reach a satisfactory solution to any difficulty, meaning conflict or challenge may be necessary to create beneficial change. We also have up next, the two of swords. This is your decision card. When you see this card, your keyword is denial. Your key phrases, are your blocked feelings. Being unavailable, possibly living a lie, or someone may be blind to the truth when you see this card. So the interpretation of that card is someone may be pretending indifferences or are split off from your feelings. This is a card that means hoping that someone may go away or someone is refusing to make a choice, a decision. Up next, we also have the three of swords. And the three of swords is pain. And your key word to that card, you saw the three swords going through the heart, correct? So that's wounding. And your key phrases to that particular card is discovering a painful truth about something or someone. That card also could mean betrayal or possibly hurting someone else. So the interpretation of that card, it means it's time to let go of old conflicts and clear away the past. Even if something hurts, the wound will soon heal and you can move on to better times. We also have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords, your keyword could be someone that needs rest or someone is contemplating something. Your key phrases, you could be coming to terms with something or with things. Taking time out to make a particular decision, you or someone else. The interpretation for the Four of Swords is don't let anyone else push you for an answer. Now is the time to take a step back. It's time for you or someone else to reflect alone and find out the truth for yourself. The reason why I say it like that, because as I said, when I shuffle my cards and when they fall out, I want you to see the card, feel the card, and really have a deeper understanding for yourself. I want you to Whatever your first thought is when you see that card, what are you feeling at that very moment? 
So, up next, <clears throat> we have the Five of Swords, which is defeat. And your key word is acceptance. Acceptance of someone or something. And your key phrases would be, it's time to let go of your fears. A willingness within you to accept changes. You or someone else. The interpretation for this card is you are not sure if you can accept your limitations, but it's time to conquer your self-doubt because many of us do have self-doubt. And it's also time for you to be realistic about your goals. Up next, we have the Six of Swords. This is your transition card, right? So the key word for this card is recovery. Your key phrases could be, you, someone you or someone else could be moving out of troubled waters or simply getting over difficulties. The interpretation for the six, the six of Swords card, you are now about to move forward and see the way ahead. You'll soon be more positive about life. And this marks the beginning of a new year for you or someone else. It all depends on how the reader reads the cards, how they laid them out, how their suit is laid, depending on what kind of spread he or she is doing. Up next, we have the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me, it can mean that you or someone else is making a break for it, right? So the Seven of Swords could also mean deception. That would be a key word, plain and simple. And your key phrases are fooling others or yourself. Getting away with something deceitful. Getting away with something. So the Seven of Swords the interpretation for this card is don't, do not, do not, don't run away from a situation or deceive yourself about your actions. Some also see it in this manner, time to use stealthy tactics with rivals. So up next, after the Seven of Swords, we also have the Eight of Swords. And this is isolation, right? So when you see this card, isolation, this is you isolating yourself from something or someone. This could be seen as the key word of restriction. And your key phrases could be, depending on how you interpret this card, is someone feeling trapped, waiting to be rescued, right? Your interpretation for this card is you or someone else could be feeling stuck in a situation that you have no control over. 
All it takes is a change of perspective, clear thinking, and a positive direction, right? So then we have the nine of swords. This is anxiety. The key word for this card is worry, right? Because anxiety is someone worrying. And your key phrases for this particular card, the Nine of Swords, is that someone could be feeling <clears throat> overwhelmed by their thoughts. This is someone that could be having sleepless nights and obsessive thinking. Because when we obsess over something, that can cause us to feel overwhelmed. And then that's when that anxiety will kick in. So the interpretation for this particular card is that someone is realizing that they need to search deeper inside of themselves to wake up to what's going on around them exactly. Then, after the Eight of Swords, right? We have the Nine of Swords. And then, after the Nine of Swords, what was up next? We have the Ten of Swords. So, this is the Ten of Swords. This is someone feeling defeated. This is someone who feels like they have been stabbed in the back too many times. However, the key word for this card is enlightenment. And the key phrases is that after you've been stabbed in the back 10 times, there's no more room for another knife to go into your back. You've taken all that you can take. And so you're cutting your way through illusions. And so the interpretation of this card is you saying goodbye to the old you and you're welcoming something new. You get what I'm trying to say, correct? And then we have the Page of Swords. And with the Page of Swords, we have curiosity. When the page comes out that someone that's curious about something or someone, and the key word for this card is foresight, right? And so then your key phrases would be refreshing, honesty. This is someone that's young at heart. And this is a person that may be facing challenges ahead of them. So the interpretation for this particular card, the Page of Swords, it's time for new ideas based on a basic thought and also a basic experience. This card can also imply that you will meet someone who is an intellectual challenge for you. And then up next we have the Knight of Swords, right? This is mental activity, right? And the key word for this particular card, this Knight of Swords, is impetuous. This is someone that's running in, they're rushing in, right? And the key phrase for this particular card is 
fascinating, right? Or a life-changing encounter. Or this could be your own rash behavior. So the interpretation of this card, you may get involved with a madcap, a lively person who may want or may not take no for an answer. This can be you. This is someone that's tactless. This is someone who is impatient as well. This is a very chaotic energy because you can see them rushing in. They're just rushing in. Then we have Astute, this is the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is very astute. This is the de Determination card, right? So, the key phrase for this card, or should I say phrases, is this is someone who is upfront and who is very direct. This is someone who's not afraid to say no. This is someone that's a quick thinker. So the interpretation for this particular card, this card represents either someone in your life who is strong and determined to move on, they want to move on. Or it can reveal your own ability to think astutely and to get results. So upfront and very direct. So now we have the King of Swords, right? These two sit right next to one another. We have the Queen of Swords, and now we have the King of Swords. So when you see this king show up, this king is very assertive, right? And so the key phrases for this king, this king, when you see him, this is someone who gets a grip on things, on situations. This is someone that is adept and strong-minded. So the interpretation for this particular card, the King of Swords, right? This is someone who is very influential. This is someone with authority and strength and who knows how to handle affairs in an honorable way. So it may be that you could be very assertive when this card show up. So the swords are associated with the element of air in astrology. And the zodiac signs associated with the swords are Gemini, Libra, and also Aquarius. And I just put up an Aquarius reading. So if you are an Aquarius and if you are curious about an Aquarius, you may want to check out that reading. So this suit is the suit of swords. So I'm going to be going over a few cards in the deck 
because I would like for you to be aware of what you see and what you are feeling when cars come out. There are a lot of people that view a reading and they'll be like, it's not my reading. You got it wrong. No, I don't have it wrong because the reading may not be for you. And so out of millions of people that may be view a video, it may be for that one person. Don't even pick apart and pick out parts of a reading and say, okay, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Because the message may not be for you. The message may be for someone else. So do not try to make any message fit your situation. You will feel it if it's for you. Something will hit you like this very quickly. And you will be able to feel if it is for you or not. So, if you know what your other placements are, check out those readings as well. This is storytelling. I am Empress Real One, 584, The Good Witch. My channel is all about healing. And I want us to do that together. I encourage you all to share your story. Because your story may possibly be a helpmate to someone else. It's like the old saying goes, sharing is caring. So on this channel, we will learn a lot from one another. I am Empress Real One once again. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel. I send to you nothing but love and light.